Hi guys, this is Vision Base and in today's video we are going to learn about the Pogo effect. So Pogo effect is a native FL Studio effect which we can get directly from the channel strip. Now, how can we apply it to Ableton Live? That is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video. So before we jump into Ableton Live, let us find out what it does to the audio. Before we start, I would like to talk about this poll which I conducted few days back. We will soon start with the kick series and as you can see the results, we will start with kicks inspired by Vertile. So to get the updates, please subscribe to the channel. Crank 3869 says, I would love to see a tutorial on so juice type of kick. Okay, Crank, I'll address this in the first video of the kick series. Till then you will have to wait and let's get back to the video. So now I have grabbed the audio and what we are going to do is we are going to move it to the left and see what it does to the audio. So as you can see the audio is getting time stressed. The end of the audio is actually moving towards the beginning of the audio. Now let's see what it does if we move it to the right all right it does the same thing but maybe there is a difference in the curve or there is some different setting which is being applied here okay so now as you have seen the audio for moving let's do the same thing in ableton live all right now we are in ableton live now what you have to do here is you have to load your audio sample and you have to click it double click it you will go to the audio setting here go to the warp mode and choose re-pitch now this will disable the pitch envelope here and you you will not be able to use that what you have to use here is you have to put two markers i mean you can use two to three markers and you can put more than that also that's not an issue so there is one marker already at the beginning and i will put one here at the end i'll put uh one at 1.1.3 and another at 1.2.3 now you have what you have to do is uh push it towards the left or the right let's see how it sounds like Okay, it's getting there. Let's do some more changes here. Okay, I can see that uh, I have a bit more control what uh, over the F FL Studio Pogo effect. Now I'll delete this marker here and let's. Okay. Now what I will do here is I'll play with the markers and see what suits best okay so this was method 1 and now we will move to method 2 i'll delete the, mar um, the markers oh shit now so method 2 in method 2 we'll play with the transposition envelope so for that we'll choose tones for the warp setting and let's expand it a bit go to envelopes and choose clip here and then transposition so now we have this envelope for the transposition i'll use some points let's see Now here you can play with the grain size as well. Let's see what it does. I think around 100 is good. Now let's do some more changes. For your own productions, you can play a lot of this and 
get some cool sounds out of it. I'll keep the video short and I'll end it here. Till then, keep producing and bye bye.